Sam came to me and was like, well, you, you're the leader of this team now. It was time. Let's go. Sam Mitchell's work to transform Chris Bosh from star to leader had reached a crucial turning point. But the team was in a free fall. And whether or not Mitchell would last long enough to see the benefits was something even he didn't know. NBA Stories is brought to you by AdidasBasketball.com. It takes five. 4.8 left. Cavaliers need a two to tie and a three to win it. The Raptors would stumble to a 27 and 55 record in 2006. And Sports Illustrated ran a poll that put Sam Mitchell on top of a list that no coach would ever want to be on. They said I was the worst coach in the NBA. Sometimes words hurt worse than a punch in the face. A punch in the face, the sting will go away. But the lingering effects of what somebody says about you can last a lifetime. The Raptors had hit bottom and it was time for them to make a change. We said that we were going to strive to hire a president and general manager for the Raptors that was very experienced and proven in the NBA. Today I'm delighted to announce that we have done just that. The Raptors chose the reigning NBA executive of the year, Brian Colangelo, to run their franchise. The Raptors were an afterthought for five years. They were just sort of another team in the league. But when Brian Colangelo decided this was a franchise worth working for to build, his reputation in the league made people sit up and take notice. It's terrific to see this kind of support. And we want to see you here next year during the games. Don't forget, all right? Thank you. He had turned the Phoenix Suns into contenders. And now, the Raptors were expecting the same. The first day he was here, you know, you, you felt that excitement, you felt that rush. You just like, we finally turned the corner. Colangelo had raised the hopes of his players and a city hungry for a winner. I was a little surprised and taken aback by the expectations of, you know, a team that won 27 games. You know, what are you going to do? How many rounds of the playoffs are you going to get to? Not about getting to the playoffs. It's like, how many rounds are you going to uh, jump forward? But as the son of Phoenix owner Jerry Colangelo, Brian had faced scrutiny his whole career. I was Jerry's son. Jerry elevated himself to president, named me general manager. You know, there was this immediate uh, focus on why I got the job. Did I deserve it? And I never really uh, outran that, that question. There was always people that, that were going to, uh, you know, question that. And that kept constant pressure on me. For some, pressure can be an excuse to play things safe, but not for Brian Colangelo. He was a risk taker. Colangelo would sign a 28-year-old rookie from Spain, a former NBA bench warmer who had starred in Israel, and even hired an assistant GM from Italy. But he saved his boldest move for the draft. You want to shake up the world tonight? With the first pick in the 2006 NBA draft, Toronto Raptors will select Andrea Bognani. A lot of people when Toronto went for Bognani were thinking, you know, Italians might be good for cars or pasta or be beautiful women, but a basketball player? Come on. Andrea. Brian yeah. Colangelo. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. Very happy to have you as part of things. And uh, look forward to having you come here and become the player that we think you're going to become. We know you're ready for the challenge, and we think you're going to be a terrific NBA basketball player, and we want you to be a star here in Toronto. Perfect. Okay, so since you tomorrow, we start to work. Okay. And look forward to it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. I used to call it the Brian Colangelo experiment because, you know, he was doing stuff on the fly that really hadn't been tried in the NBA. So because of his reputation, you go, I guess this is how you're going to do it. But i got to be honest, I mean, there was a lot of people going, how is this actually going to come together? Colangelo had brought in nine new players. But the question remained, would he bring in a new coach? 
Obviously, when your new GM come in, he has ties with other coaches and other people. So you hear all those rumors. It starts there. Colangelo would keep Mitchell. But it was clear that he expected results. I felt like it was very important to give Sam a chance to succeed or fail and see whether or not he, he did have, uh, you know, the makings to be a head coach working with me. You got to take care of yourself. Guys, you got to concentrate. If you need extra work, you got to get in here and get, hey, the coaches are here. And now Sam had the daunting task of making a cohesive unit out of a bunch of new faces, many of whom spoke English as their second language. Awkward. No. No, no. No, no. What is this, no? Courtney speaks Italian, Spanish. What else? English, obviously. Yeah, English. Um, he doesn't know Serbian. He doesn't know Slovenian. He doesn't know German. You do. Yeah. So God, you got a free throw line jump shot. Look at the basket. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Hey, hold up, guys. If we run a play and we get you the ball right here. With the start of the 2007 season nearly upon them. What do you think? Sam had little time to mold his new look Raptors. This shot right here. Can you make that shot? It's gonna be the start of a long season, man. Let's go, We're gonna do it one play at a time, one game at a time. Nothing there for TJ. It's a turnover. Joe Johnson turns Parker inside out and lays it in. As the 2007 season began, it was the same old Raptors as they stumbled to a 2-8 and eight start. 2-8 and eight was, was not a, a happy time. Uh, I'm not a good loser, I'll admit. Chris Bosch holding his game. Frustrating evening for the Raptors. Everybody's looking at us like, well, what's going on? General Manager Brian Colangelo had changed the roster and raised expectations. And it was up to his coach to meet them. GMs do not want to hear, this guy ain't good enough. You know what they want to hear? How is he getting better?